learning and discovery sink deepest when you're doing it yourself through your own senses through your own drawings through your own calculations through your own lens that's the power of the first-hand experience that we try to bring to everything that we do Really, since 1969, Tremont has been a place where people can come and live and learn in the National Park. And, and we draw through our programs over that long span of time. Like, I, it boggles the mind to think about how many school groups have come and, and spent nights in these valleys, as well as like adult workshops, you know, people that have come here for photography or to have hiking weeks and naturalist courses. We've got such a long tradition of, of wide variety of summer camps, backpacking. A lot of people's first backpacking experiences have happened through Tremont programs, um, and that launched them into like a, a lifetime of adventure. So on a day-to-day -day basis, the programs always are different, but they're always gonna involve moving through the woods, exploring the streams. Um, there's gonna be a chunk of that where they're just sitting still, quietly on a rock in the woods on a hillside somewhere listening to themselves and the world around them. These experiences have to meet people where they are and somebody's gonna be met through hiking, somebody's gonna be met through that silence. We wanna provide a whole range of experiences in different places so that each person's gonna find their connection. And that's the important thing. They've got to find that, what connects them to the world. A lot of our teachers, their, their job position is called a teacher naturalist. And those two words in conjunction are really important. All of us, we have our own connections and experience of the natural world. And what we try to do is take our experience and to somehow frame it, translate it, interpret it so that someone else can, can have not necessarily the same experience, but start at the same kind of trailhead, so to speak, and be on their own journey. We are a proud park partner for Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Everything we do tends to build on the education mission of the National Park Service. We see it as an opportunity to bring people in for immersive experiences. And so with the second campus, many people ask, well, are you leaving the National Park? And I say, no, absolutely not. That's so core to who we are. It's foundational in, in the work that we do. It's foundational in our organization as a whole. And so not only will we have our current campus within Walker Valley that has a rich history of education, but now we have the second campus where we can bring people for new experiences. We work a lot with communities that may not feel comfortable in nature. And so it's important for us to create that invitation. And I think through the second campus, we're able to provide that invitation in a way that isn't as daunting, a way that meets them where they are, a way that shows them that you can go outside and you can start to notice and discover and wonder. And then that is an opportunity to build off from. So in the future, they will be ready to come back and experience the national park. Tremont's one of only about 18 park institutes, park outdoor schools that have cooperative agreements with national parks, enabling us to operate inside of a national park. People come to live and learn and eat meals inside the national park. One of the ways we are leaders that really distinguishes us from most of the other organizations has to do with the way we work with teachers. Our focus on teachers, teacher development, teacher training, the school program as a teacher practicum, um, we can do here, but we will be able to do at a much larger scale on a second campus. And that multiplies our reach into classrooms, into districts, and that's a huge driver for me of the excitement of the second campus. We know we're gonna have capacity to do new things in new places, in new ways with buildings that interact with the environment, programs that interact with the buildings, and all of that living out the ideals that we espouse you know, in our programming and, and also mimicking the way that the amazing natural world works. It just feels like it's gonna be this little glimpse into a future that we, like that's our vision, <laughs> like that's our vision statement is we would like to live into this world that, that integrates the natural world and people in ways that are sustainable, joyful, and, and you know, bring amazement and inspiration.